Ringerson, owner of Opportunities, a halfway house here in Delray Beach, Florida, where we house women trying to obtain sobriety. Getting sober is hard. And one thing that we aim to do is to make the transition as easy as possible. Even like the worst day of my life. I remember being like, every day, this day is the worst day. And um, I, I just wanted it to be over, you know? Um, there's really no, and there's nothing like exciting. I mean, there's nothing to live for. So much anger, just anger because, I don't know, I just felt very angry. I felt angry. My first thought when I went into my halfway house was I don't want to be around all these women. I don't want to listen to people tell me what to do. And I don't want to have to follow rules. But by the end of my stay there, I didn't want to go. I was scared to leave there. It had been such a, a wonderful experience and in those, you know, that those few months that I was there, it changed my life. And that's why I want to own opportunities. That's why I want to help other women. Because I know that the power of women helping women can do. I know the power of encouragement. I know the power of support. And the power of, of hope. And when I got there, I was hopeless. And now I have faith today that everything's going to be okay. And that, that transformation was a direct result of, of work. And, and what fostered that work was my sober living, which is why what we aim to do here at Opportunities. It was really hard. I was scared. I had no idea what to do. I didn't know anybody. And then I started meeting people through the halfway house. And found a job through the halfway house, which, you know, eventually led me to my sponsor and led me to a really good group of women. I loved that we were required to have a job, a sponsor, and work the 12 steps. So I liked having that structure. And I'm such an alcoholic and an addict that I need structure. Um, I loved that at any point in time of the day, I had my friends who were my supports right there that I could go to no matter what was going on. That was the best part for me. Being able to walk next door and have my friend and cry or, you know, do step work or whatever it was. I had that support right there. That, to me, was the most important. The structure and having the supports 24 hours a day. I was given basic tools for life and it gave me the structure that I needed and surrounded me with positive supports and people who wanted to grow and at the same time people who were staying stagnant, which motivated me to grow and move forward as a person. No, I I really have a great life today. Like I was just saying, um, talking outside, like I I think the biggest thing today that I have is like I can be with like the person I am and be happy. I have my family, I have friends, I have people that when I'm having a typical Casey moment where I'm freaking out about God knows what, they're there for me. I have a job, I'm about to graduate college, I have a car, I have materialistic things, but I also have a way of life that can give me the faith to know that everything's going to be okay. I was able to go back to college and pass my junior year, which I tried to do three times and was unsuccessful. I am able to maintain relationships and build relationships, and for my entire life all I wanted to do was zip off my skin and trade it with someone else, and for the first time I'm so happy that I am me. You know, I get to be in school, and I, I get to work, and, and, and sing, and have hobbies, and it's, um, it's really magical. Like it's, I didn't ever think that that would be what I wanted the most. I thought there was something out there that I wanted, but really it was all right in front of me. Talking about women helping women here. You know, we're not talking about big companies helping women, but women helping women who, who know what it's like to be hopeless, to know what it's like to not think that they can get better. And we started this to provide women with the hope that they can have the life that they never thought that they could. That there are a hundred reasons why getting sober is hard and why there's a million reasons why you can fail. And we try, we try to provide a solution to those problems. And if we can make it so you have a comfortable place, to where you have the structure that you need, to where you have the support that you need, then the sky is the limit.
order to get these houses open, she needs she needs support. She needs people contributing to what she believes in, which is women staying sober here, getting healthy, and getting their lives back together. You know, she needs people to contribute. She needs people to give their support. To stand with her. Just like any other business. She needs support. She needs donations. She needs people who understand what it's like to want to get sober and need to go to a halfway house. I really believe that if she gets all of the support that she can, then she will be able to follow her dreams and make this house into a home and give these girls a place where they can go and really improve their lives and become productive members of society and, and change and contribute positively. It'll be amazing. It'll be the the sober environment for women that this community needs so bad. They need something that is run by serious women who have time sober who are doing the next right thing. I think she has a genuine compassion for helping other women. I also believe that she sees a market that needs improvement and she has the personality and the drive to improve that market. She's analyzed it, she's figured out what needs to be fixed, and she's going to come in and implement her business ideas and her plans. She just needs a little more help. Absolutely. Currently we have one out of our three houses open. We can house a total of four women. Our goal is inevitably ten women. Um, this is where we need your support. With your support we can purchase renovations, bedding, furniture, everything that we need to be able to house and help more women. Whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars, every little bit helps us reach our goal of providing the essentials to these women.